this is the freshman quad. Um, basically, most of the freshman dorms are in this general area. There are a couple other ones that are on the other side of campus, but for the most part, they're all around here. So we've got Termilton, and right here is Longstreet Means, which continues. That is all Longstreet, my friends. They are humongous. Um, and then over in the corner is Raul. That's where I stayed my freshman year, represent. And right here is Hamilton Homes. So there's a nice big field right in the middle. Everybody will go outside and play and even sunbathe or do whatever they want, study on a nice day. Um, it's a really nice space, especially for freshmen to kind of get to know each other and not be thrown into all the upperclassmen spaces and things of that sort. So freshman quad for you. So this is one of the freshman residence halls. It is called Raul. It's actually where I stayed my freshman year and it is awesome. Ceilings are super high. They get their own beds and desks and closets and this awesome little sink deal. So this is one of, I think, five different freshman residence housing options on campus, but yeah, super, super nice. Even a little mini frame. So this is another one of the freshman residence halls called Complex. Super, super cute. Kind of like Raul. They have a nice little mirror here, all nice and decorated. Their beds and their photos, working very diligently at their desks. Really, really, really freaking cute. This is another housing option called Claremont Campus. Basically, it's technically on-campus housing, although you do have to take a shuttle to get here, or it's like a 10 minute walk from campus. Um, it's mainly for upperclassmen, so juniors and seniors are what we're talking, and I'm pretty sure they have suites and things like that, but um, some sophomores can live here too. It kind of just depends on what you're looking for and what your needs are, and the housing office does a really good job of meeting those. So. It's really, really nice. It's literally like a country club. They have their own gym, their own place to eat inside this building right here. There's a pool over here, like literally a full-sized pool, like Olympic-sized swimming pool. And it is gorgeous and not a bad gig whatsoever. Welcome to Murdy 348. Welcome! <laughs> this is my beautiful oh, room, Kate. Okay. Welcome to Murdy. This is our room. It's super cute! Mm -hmm. So with these rooms, we have a smaller sink area and a cute little mirror. We have a little sticker here from our friend. It's really, really cute. Um, each room comes with a closet area. This is my closet. It's beautiful. Um, so we, it comes with shelves that you can put stuff on. I chose to have a little like pantry over here, but it's up to you what you want. You can hang stuff, have a laundry hamper, whatever. And this is my closet, but it is currently blocked off because it's really messy. <laughs> you can fit a whole pile of clothes there if you'd like. Beautiful. And this is just your decision. You can make it anything you want to. You can have all your snacks, all your, you know, wash stuff if you hopefully need that. <laughs> so, yeah. And also each room comes with two desks, so that's Kim's desk, mm -hmm. this is my desk, and obviously the beds. They loft up, this is the highest they loft up, and in JRC, if you watch those videos, they loft up to about right here. But it's super cute, super livable, and we love it. And this so, is Kim's side. Underneath the beds, as you can see, there's pretty much a lot of space. So I fit about a couple of plastic drawers underneath here that fit like your clothes and stuff and you can put anything you want in there. And each room can have about one refrigerator and one printer. And having a printer is really helpful so you don't have to walk back and forth to the library every time you need to do an assignment. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Yay! East Village! <laughs> Woo! Live in East Village, it's the best! <laughs>